Here we go again. Today I'd like to do something I've been promising to do for a good while, and that is to explore this start menu. Um, a lot of people say to me, how do I get this? How do I get that? And quite honestly, it's quite simple. All you have to do is look down this start menu, and you will see all the things that Windows can do. This is a basic install. The only thing I've reinstalled or put onto this uh, uh, onto this computer is the desktop picture and also the program I use to record this, the uh, the program with which is called Camtasia so we'll go and start that's the best way to start it isn't it by starting so here we have as we all know here's the start menu I, if you're a game player you will love this because all the little games are all collected all over the place well truth is they're not collected they're just splattered all over the place which I find quite annoying. I, I would think it would be easier to create a folder with all the games in. It would be a lot tidier, and then we can see the serious stuff that most people actually use their computer for. But if you're happy with these rubbishy things sticking around, that's good. If not, the way to get rid of them is right-click and unpin from the Start menu. There we go. Unpin from the Start. Mahjong. I play that occasionally. Do I need a tile for it? I don't think so. Just get rid of it. Cards I play occasionally. We don't need a tile for it. Dragon Mania Legends. What is Dragon Mania Legends? I have no idea. Not seen it before. Um, it's this. Please wait. I'm stoking. I mean, I don't know what that is. I don't know why I've got it on my computer. It's not a game I've played. Total rubbish. Let's get rid of it. In fact, we'll, when we come down the menu, we'll uninstall that. Same again. We have another one. I don't know if you can hear the sound that comes off these, but it's almost deafening. Um, record what you just did. Deleted the file? No, maybe not. King loading. I don't know what King is. Farm. That'll do. So we have lots of music. Very pretty looking graphics, but they're not for me. I don't like that sort of graphic. So, what have we left with? Oh, some serious stuff. Office. I haven't got Office on this computer, and I'm certainly not going to pay a million pound a year just to be able to write a letter to somebody. OneNote. I like the idea of OneNote, because it's a little desktop notepad, really. Um, but I do believe you've got to sign into it and do it. Yeah, you do. Um, but it's not going to ask me for my username and details, and yes, it is. So I'm I'm not going to fill that in. But basically, that will just um, create a little note for you to be able to look at occasionally if you want. So I shan't explore that any further. Microsoft Store, yeah, welcome here. Come and pay, come and spend money. Get rid of that as well because I'm not spending money. Skype, you either love it or hate it. I've just put it in the bin. So there we are. The rest here, this is Xbox connectivity thing. I haven't got an Xbox, but uh, you do need that to be able to play some of the games that are on here. So that's the first little area. We've tidied that up somewhat. Um, see all your emails in one place? I do. I see them all in my browser. When I go to my browser, I open up emails, and I can see them all in the one place. So that's not necessary. So there we are from that opening um, screen that we had this is what's left right so let's work down the um, the, the list here um, the recently added is video editor um, when I was just having a quick look when I first installed I did click on video editor it's not new or anything like that so we'll come to that in a moment or two Camtasia recorder obviously that's the, the stuff I'm using to record this video with let's have a look at 3d viewer um, here it is and this program I, I would suspect I've never used it but I would um, suspect that this is for people who've got 3d printers now inspect and view 3d models there we go there's a nice model yeah we can rotate it and turn it usually in the summer I swat these things I don't want to draw them and make pretty pictures of them I just swat them yeah but that is very good, it's very lifelike, very detailed, and I can look at, you know, 360 degrees through 360 degrees. You can rotate the light around so you get the shadow of a wasp. Very good, if you like that sort of thing. You can also do mixed reality on this, which you can um, 
let 3D Viewer access your camera. No, I don't want you accessing my camera because every time I look at it, it's got a picture of me on it. I don't like that. So we'll close that. But basically, if you if you really like 3D, then this has got to be a great little um, program for you. Turnable, swing, jump and turn, hover. I, I don't know quite what this menu is all about. I don't do 3D, basically. Not yet, anyway. But I'll tell you what, in looking at this, and I know it's a wasp, I quite like the idea of uh, messing around with that. So that's maybe something for the future we could look at. Uh, let's have a look at here. We'll move down 3D alarms and clocks. I don't think you need a whole lot of um, seven o'clock in the morning. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't see that because I don't turn my computer on until about nine or ten. So that's pretty much um, not very good. I don't leave my computer on all the time. I, I unplug it from the mains at night time, etc. Like most people do. Yeah. So we cl there. Are, that's what got the ac look at that spot on with location. The timer, I can set this to be a timer, so at 15.30, I don't know, 15 minutes and 30 seconds, not uh, half past three in the afternoon. So we, ca we can vary this, we can set it for whatever time, and uh, it will, I believe it will let, let off a beeping sound or something similar. Let's go to zero. I don't know if we can do this just for one minute and then we'll set it running. In fact, we'll do it for less than that. Timer name, countdown. Um, not even sure how to set it going here. There we go. I don't know what's going to happen. I hope it's not a piercing squeal because I've got the headphones very tight onto my head at the moment. So here we go. Oh, there we go. Timer done. That's very good. Dismiss that. Lovely stuff. That's very good. That's simple to use as well. We can, that's just learning on the hoof as we're going. Uh, right, okay, alarms and clock, that's very good. Calculator, we've all seen the calculator, haven't we? How do we undo on this? There we go. 9 times 8 equals 72, spot on. Well done, it's a good calculator then. If it can add numbers up and give you the results, that's good. So calculator, calendar is very, very similar. Um, the nice thing we can do with this calendar is we can set dates. Uh, like I've done here, I did that yesterday, I forgot, when I first set the computer up. Uh, plug it meeting, that's on the 26th. It's not actually all day, but, you know, that's near enough. Seems like it's all day. And then we have quick reference to the 1st of the 12th, which is only a few days away. So there we go, that's the calendar. That's very simple to look at. Uh, let's go into the camera. The camera is there. Look, there's a webcam. We're not going to go any more into that. Um, you click on it. If you've got a camera fitted, it will show you what it's doing. Camtasia, that's um, that's the program I'm using to record the video with. And under that, we come Candy Crush Friends. I do not even like... In fact, I'll uninstall that. We can do that from this menu. All right, Candy Crush Saga. That can go the same way. I have no interest at all in it. Um, and if I did, you can always download it or reactivate it, do whatever you want. Uh, connect, I'm not quite sure what connect is. I think that's probably, um, this device doesn't support Miracast, you can't project it wirelessly. Okay, that's fair enough, I don't mind that. Um, so Cortana, oh, this Cortana lady. She's probably beautiful and wonderful and everything, but um, do we need it right now? I don't think so. Right. Um, Cortana, if you've got speakers fitted to your uh, computer when you first install, she will actually um, verbally navigate you through the setup procedure. It's very good. If you've never used a computer before or never done a fresh install before, certainly, then Cortana can certainly be very helpful. And it saves you a whole lot of reading, which is necessary when you first start the computer. Dragon Mania Legends. Well, maybe a legend, but it's not on my computer anymore, so it doesn't matter. Again, another two games. It's, has Microsoft turned into a gaming company? They used to have really good things like um, <laughs> Windows 7, Windows... No, shan't go down that line. That's controversial. But yeah, getting rid of these games. I don't want games on my computer. Not these games anyway. I prefer big things like World of Warcraft and Minecraft and Ark Survival. A new one that's come out as well as um, Planet, Planet Zoo, which is great, but it's very complex. It's not 
Now, I'll say complicated. It's complicated by its complexity because you have to know a little bit about your animals and you have to know lots of things. That's digressing a bit. Okay, so mail, that's fairly straightforward. That's where you get your emails from whatever you choose here, outlook.com. That's my hotmail address is in there. So I'm not going to set that up. It's so simple to do. People must do this every single day, I think. But if you click on there, um, it'll last for the, for the account. And I'm not putting email addresses in. No, I'm not going to do that. So we'll just close that. But once your email address and password's in, it takes you to your, um, takes you to your email place, whatever. Uh, okay, so let's go down just a little bit further now. Feedback Hub. I missed this out for some reason. I don't know. Feedback Hub. Basically, you can tell Microsoft what you think of them and send it off. I mean, it's it's again, it's just a matter of typing it. Here we go. Here's some suggestions here. Report a problem, suggest a feature, uh, fix a translation, whatever. Um, rate Windows, rate your PC, but you do have to sign in to use this. However, if you've got something which is a bit of a beef or you think, why haven't Microsoft done this yet? Because it's so helpful if they did. This is the place to come and suggest it to them. Yeah, you just sign in with your email address and password and you'll be able to say, look, what I really want to see in Windows is a fix all button that will delete all the games and bring everything that I use on a regular basis up into this area. And it's got to be able to read my mind as well. Okay, so that's the feedback hub. Films and TV, fairly self-explanatory there. Click on the button and away we go. Um, I don't know how much... You, yeah, I think you've got to buy these. You have to buy the game. I mean, obviously, I think you've got to buy them. But there's some lovely titles here, look. The prices aren't expensive. I mean, you consider a DVD, if you went out and bought, that's going to cost you 7 or £8, I think, in the shop. And more than that on occasion. So we can... Uh, I can't see how we move along on this. I'll move down, OK. But some sort of modernish films in there. Toy Story. Never did get around to seeing that. Lion King, I've never seen that either. So there we are, that's the films. Um, to carry on down here a bit. Uh, get Help. Again, as it suggests, if you're stuck with something, this is an ideal place to come to get help on how to do something. Do I need to click on it? I think most people know how to find help. Hello, I'm a virtual agent. I'd love to help you. You can also ask and talk to a person at any time. Please describe the issue below. Okay, I won't bother. Take too long. Okay, help. Uh, groove music. Now, I'll click on it. I actually don't like Groove Music. I prefer the original Windows. <sighs> I haven't actually got anything to play in here either because I haven't put anything on this computer to uh, to play. But we can search for artists, we can search for albums, we can search for songs. Um, my music, there is nothing to show. Uh, as I said, this is a fresh install, so I haven't loaded anything up. But anyway, that's um, if you like to have something playing in there, Groove Music's good. Uh, it's not my cup of tea. Mail we've looked at. Maps, that can be interesting. If you want a quick look at a map and you don't want to load all this other software, just zoom in on this one. We can. This is rolling the mouse button, by the way, the middle mouse button. And look, we can go zoom in right in here, right all the way. Here's uh, Mablethorpe, Trustthorpe, Sutton on Sea. This is the area I live in. Um, I don't know if we can get down to, yeah, we can get down to street level. Let's go right the way in here. And there's Sutton Springs, Miami Beach is here somewhere as well. And any Americans listening to this, you're not the only ones with the Miami Beach. We've got one here too. And we've got 42nd Street and um, Prairie Lane. <laughs> I've never seen that one before. But yeah, this is all considered to be Miami Beach here in Sutton on Sea, I think. Yeah. So we can get right down to street level. I don't think we can actually see houses like. Um, like you can do on Google Maps. Uh, but if you just want to know, like, how to get, say, from the High Street to Morisco Court. Is it Morisco Court? Yeah. Um, you walk along this road here and keep going and keep going and keep going until you get to the Broadway. Then you can turn first right, and there's Morisco. So it, it's brilliant if you want to know your way around. That's what maps do, isn't it? They show you places. 
Google Maps, you can actually visit the place and walk around, of course. But uh, there we go, Maps Messaging. Um, this uses uh, Microsoft Messenger. Um, this app sh only shows uh, SMS texts from your mobile operator, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm going to dismiss that because I don't use that at all. Never used it, actually. And I'm not 100% sure how to use it. Uh, messaging Microsoft Edge, that's just another uh, email thingy, whatever. I don't like it. I won't use it. Microsoft Mahjong, one of the few games I actually play, along with um, Solitaire Collection. We can go to the store and send spend a lot of money. Do I want to spend a lot of money? Of course I don't want to spend anything at all. But here's all Minecraft if you want, Windows 10 Starter Collection, uh, Warhammer, Chaos and Conquest. All these murder, death, kill games, I think. This is what there is. Um, Age of Empires, you kill people. Halo, I think you kill people. Uh, Bleeding Edge, I've got no idea. You might kill people, same as Westlands. Um, at least with Minecraft, you don't kill people, you kill monsters. That's, you know, it's got something going for it. And it is repeated uh, almost monotonously throughout all these lists. But this is if you want a game just to, for the grandkids to play or the kids to play or to play yourself, go to the Microsoft Store and have a look through. Um, you get a lot of trials with um, the store, so, you know, you end up paying for it in the end. A mixed reality portal. I've never been he in here. I'll be honest. Do I want to get started? Okay, I'll get started. Uh, right, I agree to whatever. Graphics card sorted. Yeah, CPU. All that wonderful stuff. Next. Graphics driver. PC graphics driver not work well. Windows mixed reality. Learn well. Okay, so my graphics card isn't up to standard, so we won't bother looking at that. It's as good as it gets, and I can't afford a new one, not at the price they are, so we won't bother with that. Uh, mobile plans, I suppose this is to do with mobile phones on Microsoft. I'm not going to waste time um, opening that up because I'm, I don't know what to do in there anyway. So uh, Here's my graphics card, it's a control panel. Um, 3D vision view, all oh right, I thought my computer didn't have this, but apparently it does have it. It's just that that particular application, the mixed reality portal, doesn't recognize what it recognized when it put these on the computer. Office, OneDrive. OneDrive I don't like. I don't understand it, so I don't like it. Simple as. Um, I have disabled it, and if you want to know how to stop it booting up, just as a matter of interest, because I don't like it booting up in the morning, I get worried in case it's going to uh, copy everything I ever do into it. So we have a look at the task manager by control alt delete and we get this window here. And if we click on start up in this window, you'll see Microsoft OneDrive on here. You can already see I've disabled it because it annoyed me this morning coming up. Um, but, you know, click on there and you can enable it just as quick. So it'll then put an icon on your thing. But I don't like it, so I'll disable. I can't see the point in it. My computer's got three drives in it normally, all a terabyte big. Two of them I can detach pretty easily. In fact, I didn't actually. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, so there's my drive layout. I, I have the web stuff and I have a junk dump. And this is, um, those are the extra drive. These are a terabyte big. Each one's a terabyte big. And they're only half full. So I don't need one drive either. So that's good. Right, we'll close that down. I did, forgot to un unhitch them this morning. Right, let's run through very quickly because I know this is going on a bit. Microsoft Store, we've done mobile plans, NVIDIA, Office, and OneNote. 3D Paint, um, we sh had a look at that before. Now, there's act if you click on the Paint 3D, you can actually do a variety of things. I if you're any good at drawing, you'll quite enjoy this, okay? There's a little tutorial there and uh, how to use the brushes, etc. But, you know, if you enjoy messing around with art, this has got to be for you. I mean, I, I don't. I, come on. Fluffy cloud. Okay, wonderful. Um, not sure what this is, but it's all the same color. Right. There we go. Wonderful. I mean, you know, what more could you want? You can move it in and out and big and small and everything else. I don't know about going backwards. Can you undo, yeah? There we go. Right, so we can just 
Oh dear, that's not very good. So I'll just draw my favourite character. Takes but a moment. There we go. Give him an ear roll in there. And a big smile at the nose. There we go. That's that's as good as my art gets, I'm afraid. Now I don't know if we can No, we can't rotate that. Three D view? Okay. Okay, look see. It's not actually a three D view, is it? Well, I don't know if it is. Two D I'd say. Not three D. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so there you are. That's three uh, D paint. We might might do um, might do a little demo on that one day. Uh, that could be good. Could be a laugh if nothing else. Uh, right, zooming down. People. That's all the people you have in your in your address book. That will display them all. I haven't got any in, so it's pointless clicking on it. Photos. I have the desktop photo here, and another one here. Next. Next. Thank you. So I have these two photos on my computer. Yeah, that's it. I just need them for the desktop. But every photo you take, you can view it through there. Uh, OP photos. Settings. A very important little button here. Settings. You can check your system, your devices, your phone, network and internet. Personalization. You can personalize your computer to make it unique just to you with the settings that are in there. Apps, accounts, time and language, gaming, access, ease of access, that is. So if you've got a, a disability of some sort, go into this ease of access area. And it's surprising what you can set up to make life a little more pleasant when using the computer. Cortana, bless her heart, um, keep her turned off. She, she talks too much. Uh, privacy, location, camera. You can set the settings to be as private as you like or as... Um, open as you like. It's up to you entirely. Um, but it's all contained there in this Windows settings area, which is again go onto the start menu here, zoom down to win uh, to settings, sorry. Um, Skype, we all know how to use Skype sadly. Um, snip and sketch. I don't know too much about that. I'll have a very quick look. Well, this is all going to be um, take a new snip of what? Okay, is that it? Oh, look, that's it. So I can, something on the internet, maybe you're watching a YouTube video or something, and you want to have a quick look at a picture, there's a way to do it then. Okay. Oh, learning curve is steep on this one. Snip and sketch. Sticky notes. Again, this is like the OneNote. Hello. There we go. Welcome to Sticky Notes. Sign in. No, I don't want to put my email address in every mortal thing. Um, not now. So here we have a little yellow stick it note and we can uh, we can type in there don't forget plug it on Tuesday there we go that's it so we can that's it that's all we have to do I think I don't know okay there it is we can close that one now um, close that we can move that over there so as we uh, we keep a note. So if you've got a shopping list, you can actually add to the shopping list or whatever you want to do in there. Uh, buy a new computer. No, maybe not. Right, the sticky notes. Tips. Tips are good. Yeah. But what do you want tips on? You want tips to appear in whatever program you are running at the time or whatever application you're running at the time, I should say. Uh, video editor. That's... Um, one I did have a quick look earlier on, and it is quite good for editing the, the simple video. Right, you can get a new project, you can go in there and record stuff and then edit it. So, you know, you need to play around with that a lot. It's very simple, but you do need to play around so you understand how it works. Voice recorder, great little thing if you just want to make a, a want something to remind you, and you can do it with the voice recorder as well as the sticky notes there. Weather. Mm, we got them on that. Windows accessories. Now this is quite a clever little um, area here. Character map. You, all the little bits you see on your computer and all the characters, the fancy characters and all the all the fancy uh, symbols that you don't normally use. They're all there. You just have to find them. And the best way to do that is spend a bit of time looking through each of the characters there. 
quarter, half, three quarters. I tend to use the half quite a lot, which is um, quite easily when putting Alt. That's your Alt key. I'll, I'll highlight it there. Alt key plus 0189. So you press the Alt key and press 0189 and you will get the half. And I think that will work on most of the apps here in, in Microsoft stuff. Just do this. Press Alt 0189 and we have a half there on the uh, on the tab. So again, if you if you use halves, quarters, three quarters, whatever, on a regular basis, perhaps, then uh, then you could. It didn't take much to learn those, and you can actually include them into your text. There we go. So that's the can who character map. Uh, again, in here. Internet Explorer, we all know about that. Um, math Input Panel, never used it and I don't know what it is, so I'm not even going to open it. Notepad, Notepad's great if you uh, just want to make quick notes or you want to leave um, a little detailed note that you want to save. It will save it as a TXT file. Paint, we've all used Paint before, we don't need to go into that. And Print 3D, I've covered already. Quick Assist, I'm not sure about. What do you want assistance with, maybe? Um, get assistance. Right, codes. I don't understand where the code comes from, so I shan't be using that. And I'm not even prepared to find out about it, to be truthful. Remote desktop connection. Now, this one is a bit iffy, because this means that other people can join my computer. They can join my desktop and do stuff to it. Maybe that would be better off taken out. Computer. I think this will eventually find everything on your network internally and therefore it's open. Um, I for one shan't be using that. Um, it's there if you want to. You need to explore it a bit and you know find out about it. A snipping tool that's just basically to clip pictures with. Steps recorder. This is very handy actually uh, at the club here, we had a quick demonstration of steps recorded by uh, uh, Brett, who actually spent quite a bit of time showing us how to use that, so I won't go into it now. Fax and scan. I don't think faxes get used a whole lot anymore, but Windows, you need to have a scanner attached, which I haven't, so that can go away. If you have got a scanner and you do send faxes, then you need to have a look into that to find out whether it's going to be any good to you. Um, don't see why not, because it's um, quite reliable when it used to, when you used to use something like that. Windows Media Player. Now this is the, the program I prefer over the um, the other application that they suggested. You set it up for recommended settings, and away we go. And this will connect to the internet. It will also find artists and albums and all the rest of it. Uh, Groove Music is the alternative, uh, which we looked at this one here. Um, I prefer the Windows on this, I have to say, personal preference. Um, prefer the uh, media player. WordPad. Now, all you people out there who spend millions and millions of pounds just so you've got some way of writing letters, right? Let's open up WordPad. WordPad here, although it's not all fancy, it's not all singing and all dancing, but it is a WordPad. You can do everything in here that you would do normally in Microsoft Office. Um, or even a LibreOffice write writing thing, whatever. You can move it all here. Um, oh, fingers, fingers. The quick brown fox, etc. So that's just a very simple way of writing a letter. You can print out from this, you can alter it, you can edit it, you can highlight stuff and change its font. Um, something like that. Just click on it. You can change the size of your characters. Let's just zoom down here a bit. Right. We can uh, make it all, I don't know, a lot bigger. Uh, you can change the color of the font as well, very simply. There we go, to red. And this is where you can put a picture in there as well. If you've got a picture, you want to put that into it. Uh, open. There we go. No. Uh, did overwrite my words that I wrote earlier on. But hey, that's not a problem, because up here in the top corner, I can go back. I can change things. Oh, I didn't actually bring my text back. Never mind. But it's all there. Play with that. If you haven't got a word editor or a word program on your computer, um, go for that one. 
it's free. You've already got it on your computer unless you've deleted it, which we don't suppose you have. Uh, and that's in Windows Accessories and all these little programs as well. If you <coughs> right click on WordPad here and just drag it, you can actually put it, oops, dropped it, onto the desktop. Left click, sorry. Did I say right click? I think I did. So I've got a shortcut now here. Double click and it brings up WordPad straight away. So you don't need to spend millions on Office and all the rest of it. Um, it's there already. Right, just come back down again towards the end of the list now. Administrative tools are, you know, component services, computer management, disk cleanup, event viewers, and all the rest of it are all in here. A recovery drive, if you want to make a recovery drive, that's in there too. And also uh, a reg editor. Be careful if you do use a reg editor because that can be a bit dangerous. Um, and all the rest, it's all there if you want it. Ease of access, we've covered before, magnifier, narrator. Uh, On-screen keyboard as well is very handy. And coming to the end now, Windows System. A command prompt. Now, if you want to maybe find your IP address or whatever, um, click on that and just type in there. I don't know what it would be. I suppose it's uh, IP config, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to show everyone my IP address. Uh, but yeah, if you typed IP config in there and press return, you would find out the IP address of your computer very simply. And that's just one of the many applications of that particular command there. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's uh, ease of access. PowerShell. I've never looked at this before, to be honest. Again, I better not click on it because Windows PowerShell. I'm not sure about that. Let's have a look very quickly. If it breaks the computer then, whoops. No, that's it. I don't know. There's nothing in there. I, I don't know. I've never used it and say it's not something I know a lot about. No, I don't mind admitting that. Uh, so Windows System, File Explorer, obviously that's what we explore the files with. Run. Task Manager, this PC. That's a handy one to have on your desktop. So if you just right click, sorry I said it again, left click and drag it to your desktop, you'll have a shortcut to my my PC. There we go. I've already got one up there as well because I do that as a matter of course. So there we are. That's the start menu. Um, it is quite complicated if you look at it as a home. It's got a phone here as well. Gosh. Um, this side here we have, um, that's me, my documents which are in one of these windows here. Uh, it has my pictures as well. It also has the settings. Now settings, again, we, we touched on that during the menu. Do get used to knowing where things are in there because it is very, very, uh, very handy to know. And as you can see, the snow started falling. Um, I think we can get rid of that now because we don't need that anymore. And there's our winter scene, <coughs> complete with snowfall. And because it's getting to the end of uh, the year, this will probably be the last video this year. I know it's only November, but uh, I don't tend to put them up in December. So I'll take this opportunity of wishing everybody a very happy holiday or a happy Christmas or whatever you celebrate at this time of the year in your country. Have a happy one. And hopefully we'll look forward to a load of new videos in the coming year. If you have any suggestions video, please just mention it in the comments down below. And we'll see if we can accommodate them. The more you give, the more I've got to choose from. So please help out there. And also, while you're looking down there and writing your comments, you'll see down below a subscribe button. Now, if you press subscribe, it means you get a little email to tell you each time I put a video up. It doesn't cost anything. It's totally free. You can follow. You can like. If you like the video, click like. And if you don't like it, subscribe and find one you do like. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, and we'll uh, we'll catch up with you again in 2020, would you believe? There we go. Have a good one. Bye for now.